Close, an untold story of American valor, recounts one of the most harrowing battles of America's longest war. It happened in a remote outpost in Afghanistan where 53 Americans fought off nearly 400 Taliban. And, and, and Jake, this is a remarkable uh, account. It's, the combat outpost was called Combat Outpost Keating, which was named after a young man who really exemplifies everything you're trying to say in this book. He was an incredible guy. Everybody who knew him said he was uh, committed to his man, Lieutenant Ben Keating. Uh, uh, he was uh, president of the uh, University of New Hampshire, young Republicans, wanted to go into service because he was convinced someday he would be a senator or a president, sending troops into battle. He wanted to have served as well. And he end up, ended up being incredibly disillusioned with the war and ultimately paid the, the final and, and most horrible price, not because of the enemy, but because of how dangerous the land was. And then that's what so much of your story is about, not just about this battle, but also about why the outpost was put in this remote corner of Afghanistan in the first place. Yeah, and it becomes almost like a, a microcosm of the war in Afghanistan to begin with, but it's put at the bottom of three steep mountains, 14 miles from the Pakistan border. Almost every soldier who ever went there over the course of the three and a half years of the combat outpost's life would come in and say, what are we doing at the bottom of this fishbowl? Everyone knows basic military strategy. You always want the high ground, but the U.S. put them there, and they fought valiantly, and their stories are just incredible. And you first read about this attack at a real signal moment in your life, right after your son was born. My son was born, Jack was born October 2nd, 2009, and in the haze of my wife's recovery room, out of the corner of my eye, I saw the, this TV report the next day about eight other sons being taken from this planet, eight soldiers killed in this remote outpost, and the, and the coverage was, why would anybody put an outpost there? And it became a mystery that I needed to solve, and then while I was reporting that, why we, did we put an outpost in this horrible location, uh, it became a story of, of the incredible heroics of the troops, and then tr other soldiers started reaching out and said, tell my story as well, tell my friend's story as well. And that's what makes this book special. You really brought together your two worlds. You were covering this every single day from the White House, all of the debates, all the policy back and forth. You wanted to get a handle on the human consequences. And what was incredible that I found was the decisions made by George W. Bush, Donald Rumsfeld, uh, Bob Gates, President Obama, would directly affect these four dozen guys at the bottom of an outpost. There would be a direct effect. It's not just at an arm's distance. If those troops did not have the manpower they needed or the helicopters they needed, they would die. And these troops are so grateful to you for telling their story. I want to show some video I think we have right here Saturday night uh, in Washington. It's an honor. They presented you, you with the flag you, that flew over <laughs> combat outpost here. It was, I had just gotten, I just finished saying that I didn't feel comfortable getting any of the attention for their heroics. And then Major Portis came up there, grabbed the microphone as he's wont to do, took command, and presented me with a flag. And I feel like I don't deserve it. It was one of the last flags flying at Combat Outpost Keating. But the fact that they feel uh, that I'm at least listening to them and trying to have their stories told, it meant more to me than I can even convey. And you told the story so well, you tell it so well in this book. Congratulations. The book is called The Outpost. You can read an excerpt of it at goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo. It's in stores today. Jake Tapper, congratulations. Thanks, George.